This video specifies the example for addressing modes that we've already studied in the previous video. Okay, so what we are doing according to this sheet is this is the part of the memory giving all the addresses and the values on that addresses are specified. The first row tells you the operation, the mode, second tells you the address, this is the instruction part and others are the address and certain values at that particular address. Here the value of register is 400, index register which is denoted by XR is 100. And now what we are going to do is, we are going to calculate the value of effective address and the content of accumulator, that is basically the operand for different addressing modes. So, as you all know, what is effective address? Effective address is again the address which contains the operand. Okay, so let's begin with the first. First is the direct addressing. As we've already studied in the previous video, what is direct addressing? Direct addressing mode says that the value in the address part is the effective address and the value contained at that particular address is the operand. Therefore, the value in the address part is 500 which will be your effective address and the value at that particular address which is 800 will be your operand value. Then comes the immediate operand mode. According to this, we know that the value specified in the address part is not the value for address, instead specifies the operand itself. Therefore, in this case, your operand is 500 and because it is specified at the address 201, your effective address will be 201 in this case. Next is your indirect addressing mode. In indirect addressing mode, the address specified in the address part of the instruction does not give you the operand but another address and then that particular address gives you the operand. Therefore 500 is your first address and the value at 500 is your next address which will act as the effective address. So 800 is the effective address in this case and the value at 800 that is 300 will be your operand value. Next is relative addressing mode. In relative addressing mode, the value of PC is added to the address part. In this case, because next instruction is specified at 202, therefore the value of PC will be taken as 202 and address part is 500. So therefore, PC plus address part, which is 202 plus 500, which will give you 702. And the value specified at 702 is 325. Hence, that will be your operand. Next is the indexed addressing mode where XR is added to the address that is 100 plus 500, which gives you 600 as the effective address. And the value at 600 is 900, which will give you the value of the operand. Next is the register mode. In register mode, register direct basically. This states that the value in the register is the value of the operand itself. Hence, there will be no effective address in this case and the value of the register will be your operand itself. In register indirect addressing mode, the register value will point towards another value. So, in this case, that will act as the effective address and the value at that particular address will act as your operand. Now comes the auto increment mode. As already stated in the last video, auto increment mode increments the value of the register by 1 but after the execution of the instruction. Therefore, there will be no effect on the effective address and content of accumulator. It will remain same as the register indirect mode in this case. But after the execution, the value of register instead of 400 will become 401 for this case. I'll again repeat, because this increment is done after the execution of the instruction, there will be no effect on the effective address and content of the accumulator because this is prior to the instruction execution. But after performing this and the instruction is executed, 
the value of register will be incremented by 1 that is 400 to 401 and auto decrement mode states that the value of the register is decremented by 1 that took prior to the execution of the instruction therefore now the effective address will not be 400 but will be 399 that is 400 that is the value of the register decremented by 1 that is 399 and now the value at 399 is 450 which is the value of your output i hope this video was useful to you if any doubts you can ask in the comments below thank you